Hello again. Um, we have this is another example where I will illustrate how our system can be used to create a scenario very quickly. In this case, I am in the I'm an instructor and I've, I've loaded uh, a scenario that deals with a gas leak situation, and uh, we are trying to uh, you know teach our awareness level, um, our basic level students. Uh, how um, you know how to respond in this situation. So the goal here is really to get the students to be engaged in the environment. So a quick thing to remember here, every object that we put on this map of the scenario, for every object there's a corresponding um, 3D object appearing in the 3D world, uh, a world that they will be able to visit, and that will be their virtual field after, looking, after listening to the theory of the class. So we have here a collision between two vehicles, a car and a truck, and the truck is supposed to be carrying chlorine, but the students don't know this yet. They will have to go in the field and, and, and try to, uh, to look at the various symbols and signage on the truck in order to get an, an understanding of, for example, you know, the NFPA um, symbols, right? So, so, so part of, of the, the, the goals of this class is to teach about the, the NFPA 704 symbols and, uh, and uh, to explain, um, you know, what kind of PPEs to wear for various conditions. So in this case, you can see uh, me just giving a demonstration. I'm going over to this uh, to this uh, to this storage area here. I, I just I just I'm just wearing a hat, and um, and that's where all the PPEs are stored. So let's go back to the board and. Um, couple of more things that I can show you. Oh, um, yes, I have um, a gas meter here. This is a virtual simulation of a gas meter. Uh, the values would change based on, you know, the, the, the various gas conditions in a particular uh, environment. Uh, but we don't need heat here for this quick demo. Um, my interest is only to show you how quickly it is possible to create the situation. Uh, a virtual situation. So you can see here the, 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 the greenish yellow gas or chlorine, it's heavier than air, it's floating close to the, to the ground. Okay, and uh, you get, uh, I've, I've deployed like a, a decontamination line and you can see that I've placed the, some cylindrical cones and soon we'll see how, you know, these very basic items can lead to a lot of student activities, interactions, questions that they will have. Um, just a little uh, pointer here to uh, the wind control um, instrument that I have here. So I, just by clicking on the various arms, you can control the, the direction of the wind. And uh, you can imagine, and you also, uh, you know, the various kind of situations that you can expose your students to. Okay, you can just, throwing a wrench in the whole in their whole uh, you know um, response situation and change the wind directions and things like that uh, you can you can also change the the time of of the the operation and see what the students would do under different conditions let's let's fly a little bit closer to um, to the environment there to the source of uh, the problem and we see the truck and we can also observe the various NFPA symbols uh, and the various placards that are used. So once you, s you get those information, you can uh, access a browser, you type in you know, the various numbers that you find, it brings up um, you know, information about um, the, 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 the chemical of interest. This is chlorine and you can read about you know, this particular compound and its effects. Um, just to zoom in uh, a bit more, uh, to, to look around, and uh, I'm using a lot of the camera here only for demonstration purposes. Students won't need to do this. They will actually walk into the virtual environment and interact with uh, the various um, components. 
So I'm just trying to create the hot zone, the warm zone and cold zone here. That's an activity that students will be doing. They'll be deploying the right OSHA tapes. Um, so they'll learn about how to demarcate zones. So I'm using a red tape here, um, just connecting these various cylindrical um, cones. All right, so I have my, my red line and now I'm going to uh, zoom a little back and uh, and try to uh, establish my my yellow line, which will be um, you know the edge of the warm zone. So zooming back and looking for uh, for an appropriate cone. As I'm saying, I'm using a lot of the camera control here, but the students will need to do this. But you can get a sense of of the contamination area established. Uh, you try to cover all the, the main points and uh, as the students will be going through them and interacting through them, they'll be learning uh, about the various con concepts that are very, very important. So you can see, for example, you know, the trays that are laid out on the side there for collecting, web, uh, um, for collecting equipment once they are used. Um, and, and after they need to be decontaminated, all these um, PPE cleaning equipment are in, you know, they are functional. You can open the tap and the showers come out. And here I'm, I'm interacting with a crowd and I'm going to try to process them through this decontamination line. Um, so, you know, you have the, the conveyor belt type of arrangement here. Um, that will not be used in all cases, but just to expose students to the various possibilities. So very quickly, this is uh, just an example how I would um, create a scenario on the fly very quickly to demonstrate some concepts which along, which can you know, raise a lot of discussions in the classroom. And uh, thank you for your attention.